Hello teachers, have you missed a class on italki? Well, you may as well kiss your italki career goodbye because that's pretty much it for you. No, I'm just kidding. Today I'm going to tell you exactly what happens after you miss a class on italki. I'm going to tell you about uh, my experience with missed classes on italki and we're going to think about some strategies to avoid missing classes. So as always, hit the subscribe button and let's dive in. All right, so after you've missed your uh, first lesson on italki, uh, basically what will happen is your profile will be hidden from the search tab until you respond to the notice. So the student will likely um, state that there was a problem and say the teacher did not show up and they did not give prior notice. Um, italki will send this to you, the teacher, to review. And until you review it, um, basically your profile will be hidden from the search tab. Aside from that, your, um, your availability will be changed from available to all students to available only to current students as well. Strike two, after this happens the second time, basically your profile will be hidden for seven days. Even if you respond to the notice, it will be hidden for seven days. And again, your availability will be changed to only being available to uh, current students instead of to new students. And uh, this will be in place for seven days as well, no, no matter what you do. So that's strike two right there. And I know that I say this all with a smile on my face, but believe me, this is a cringe and not a smile. This is uh, not exactly ideal, um, but hey, let's try to keep the spirits high. Um, you could definitely bounce back from this. And number three, basically everything that I said before applies on number three, um, except it will be for 30 days instead of seven days. And you know, by that point, you've probably found a new job anyway so if you're if you hit strike three you probably won't be teaching on the platform but you know everyone's different and accidents happen of course so you know if, if something like this happens then uh you could still definitely uh bounce back from it because it's not a three strikes and you're out policy it's actually four strikes and you're out so on the fourth time if you miss class and there's no prior notice um, then you're basically kaput. So let's get real. We're all human, right? Um, but for me, I have actually never just missed a class uh, without um, consulting with my student um, after 3,000 lessons. With that being said, there was actually one situation where um, a student and I um, agreed to reschedule the lesson, but the student accidentally put down that that I did not attend like they basically chose the wrong option which made it look like I did not attend and I accepted this because I just didn't read it and then I got an email from italki telling me like that was my first strike so um you know I didn't really worry about this because it's more about like my student that I was worried about but of course it's my stats as well because I knew that this brought my attendance down for the month from uh, five perfect uh, five stars to 4.9 um, so basically I reached out to italki and I told them and they said that they've updated the you know they've updated the strike system so at that point that I had zero strikes against me but I did still see 4.9, that little blemish on my record there. So luckily the stars, like the five stars, 4.9, 4.8, hopefully not lower than that, um, that only stays up for three months, right? So for those three months, I'd always look at it and be like, oh my gosh, why did I accept that? Um, that like, it didn't even happen, like I actually, it wasn't even my fault it was the student's fault as well so that's what made it like the worst but you know i um i got through those three months and basically it hasn't changed my profile at all it hasn't hurt or nor hindered um how many students i actually have but before we wrap up let's talk a little bit from the student's perspective right because it's not just about us and our um 
you know, our records and our stats and our work. It's also about the student's progress. And of course, the progress of the student and the relationship that you have with your student will kind of go hand in hand with how successful you are on the platform. The more students who trust you, the more students will book classes with you, right? So faith goes a long way. So I would really suggest if anything like this happens with your students to definitely make it up to them. And that could be, um, you know, extending class by five minutes or um, like in the future classes or maybe to give them an extra homework task to do on their own. I'm going to be making another video right after this about what happens if you need to reschedule your class and it's less than 24 hours before the class begins. Um, the all too relevant and relatable um, ethical crisis <laughs> that happens on, on italki uh, for a lot of teachers and for a lot of students. So uh, if you have any ideas or any particular recommendations for me to include in that video, please just throw them down in the comment section below. If you have any questions about anything else that I've spoken about today, let me know in the comment sections below. And finally, um, it's been a week since the new year has begun. So let me know how your new year's resolutions are doing. Let me know how your 2022 is going. How's it looking on italki? Again, you know, check in with me. Let me know how everything is going. And I hope that we could continue to grow as a community this coming year. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching today. I'm looking forward to speaking to you all very soon. And as always, keep smiling.